We need to have a conversation, America. In part two, I'm going to present evidence that supports everything they say in part one, that the Republican goal is to turn America into a communist dictatorship. If we have a sea of people, if we shut down the streets, if we shut down everything, if we flood the Capitol building, flood all the government buildings, go inside. These are public buildings. We own them. We own these buildings. Do you understand that? We own the buildings and we pay all the people that work in the building. Let's have trial by combat. <laughs> My kids didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our constitution. Giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which they were asked to previously certify. U.S. demands the truth. Bring out peace. Leaders on the right are applauding the Supreme Court's ruling on presidential immunity, including the president of the Heritage Foundation, who says that it's vital to getting the country back as he gives an ominous warning to the left. Listen. In spite of all this nonsense from the left, we are going to win. We're in the process of taking this country back. We are in the process of the second American revolution, which will remain bloodless if the left allows it to be. Our country is going to hell. The critical job of institutions such as Heritage is to lay the groundwork, and Heritage does such an incredible job at that. This is a great group, and they're going to lay the groundwork and detail plans for exactly what our movement will do and what your movement will do when the American people give us a colossal mandate to save America. And that's coming. That's coming. This is a question here. How did Paxton know that 2.5 million mail-in ballots were going to be Democratic ballots, as he stated in Steve Bannon's war room? There was 147 Republicans, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz, that wanted to nullify the power of the people and dictate their own purpose. January 6, 2021 was planned a year in advance to achieve a civil war if necessary to nullify the power of the people. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That 